Hello, welcome to SoGoodReviews.com and SleazyKVideo.com and we take a look at Diamond Ninja Force from IFT and it's part of the series that I cover currently where the cut and paste movies from them, their ninja exploitation movies or not, we cover when they were kind of golden, kind of good, kind of uh, where they struck a fun balance between their own footage merged with the movie they bought from somewhere in Asia. Although Joseph Lai, Godfrey Ho and company are in well-treaded territory with this movie, it's a cobbled together mess that is only golden because of what is merged with uh, Richard Harrison's and Kong Do's Ninja Clan battles, and it's a haunted house movie. Which adds ghost sex in the second half uh, via the original movie, and that essentially increases the exploitation factor, therefore, and it helps matters immensely for IFD because it sure doesn't look like Godfrey Ho is feeling the inspiration. IFD's editing includes Garfield phone conversations between the movies, so to say, and the cheesy technique of trying to convince us that Richard Harrison and the Asian cast members are in the same room. It, it's cheesy, yeah, but it's workable and bearable in all honesty. But it's the original ghost movie that saves the tired folks at IFD. But we need to be fairly patient with the original movie while it cooks up enough exploitation use in order to deliver. IFD's usually awkward westerners do entertain. Uh, Richard Harrison looks bored and embarrassed in endless prep and posing scenes heavy on the eyeliner, but amping it up is indeed the key, and when that hits via the original movie, it doesn't matter when IFD's footage is highly form formulaic and devoid of energy, actually. It, we get the usual haunted house stuff in the original movie with ghostly apparitions made up as pale cutlery comes to life and the husband uh, doesn't believe the wife, of course, and her kid Bobo, which is a great name for a kid. But when it's featuring rather unwarranted nudity, this original movie, we see disgusting hands grabbing the wife in the bath and the maggots comes out of the faucet. You notice a mix forming and a truly lovely one at that. So placing the fight for supremacy in the ninja clan world alongside an increasingly nasty and naughty horror movie, that makes Diamond Ninja Force stand out in the IFD library. Furthermore, the main female ghost turns out to have sexual desire, so not only does she watch the couple have sex, but she also possesses the wife unbeknownst to the husband, and it's wonderful seeing a lack of restraint on behalf of the original filmmakers. There's quite a few sex scenes here, and their colors and intentions are therefore very visible, thankfully. All while Harrison's Gordon, in very short action sequences, kills off Kong Do's henchmen, and there are also uninspired action scenes, and it's only towards the end where the acrobat doubles in the ninja suits truly get a chance to deliver for Godfrey Ho. You know, the movies may be grossly mismatched as a matter of fact, but a certain valid merging takes place between the original and IFD. And while the original movie may win here, and host ninjas' asses are saved by it, IFD ought to be thanked we you know, got a chance to see sexual abuse by ghosts of human, even in cut-up and altered form. 